Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rochelle. I'm so glad you joined us for church today. Do you remember what book of the Bible we're in right now? Do you know? Yeah, we're in the book of Judges. So today we're gonna watch our story and see what happens next. I'm excited to see what God wants to teach us today. Hi friends, it's me, Megan. And I'm Jessie. Megan, who is the judge of Israel in today's Bible story? Today's judge is Deborah. Wait, Deborah is a girl's name. <laughs> it is. God chose Deborah, a woman, to be the judge of Israel. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know there were women judges in the Bible. <laughs> yep, God uses women all the time in his plan. In fact, in today's Bible story, God used a woman named Jael to defeat Israel's enemies. Let me tell you about it. When the judge of Israel died, oh, no. the Israelites forgot about God again. This time, God allowed the king of Canaan to overtake Israel. The king was cruel to the people. The Israelites remembered how good life was when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to God, save us. At this time, Deborah was the judge over Israel. One day, Deborah sent a message to a man named Barak. Come here, Barak, she said. Barak came to Deborah and Deborah said, this is what God wants you to do. Gather an army of men lead them to Mount Tabor. God will help you win the battle against the army of Canaan and their leader, Sisera. Barak said to Deborah, I will go if you will come with me. I'll go with you, Deborah said, but you will not get the honor when Sisera is defeated. So Deborah, Barak, and all the men in the army went to Mount Tabor. Sisera took his chariots and army toward the river to fight. Go, Barak. Deborah said, God will help you beat Sisera today. Barak and his men moved down the mountain towards Sisera and his army. The Lord made Sisera and his army very confused. Sisera ran away. Barak and his men defeated Sisera's army, but Sisera escaped. Sisera ran to the tent of Jael. Jael said, come in, don't be afraid. Jael gave Sisera something to drink and covered him with a rug. If a man comes looking for me, Sisera said, tell him I'm not here. Sisera was so tired that he fell into a deep sleep. While Sisera was sleeping, Jael killed him. The Lord gave his people victory over their enemies. Deborah and Barak sang a victory song. They praised God for helping them beat the people of Cain. The land was peaceful for many more years. Everything God does is for his glory and our good. God used Deborah, Barak, and Jael to help the people of Israel win battles against Canaan. God also uses people to help us and teach us about Jesus. God sent his son Jesus to do what is very good for us, to save us from sin. Israelites have gotten pretty good at sinning, at turning away from God and doing their own thing. And every single time it gets them into trouble. They end up far from God. They end up losing the land that God had given them. They find themselves in really, really bad situations. But God is good. And so he kept sending judges. He sent Deborah um, to help the people and to, to help them... Um, come back closer to him. And that's what we want to learn today, kids, you guys. God is always good, and he always provides a way for us to come back to him. Do you guys remember what our question is? It's what is repentance? That's a really big word. What does that word mean? Yeah, repentance is turning away from sin and turning to Jesus. And we have an opportunity to do that every single day. 
we all make mistakes, we all mess up, we all do things that we're not proud of. But the cool part about following God, the cool part about being a follower of Jesus is that God is so faithful to always forgive us if we turn away and we repent of the things that we've done wrong. Our verse for this month for us to remember, this is what it says. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and purify us of all unrighteousness. That's from 1 John 1, chapter, no, chapter 1, verse 9. Okay, let's pray. God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for these kids. Um, Lord, would you just bless them this week? Would you help them to know um, that no matter how far they, they, they run or they turn away from you, God, that you are always right there ready to forgive. Um, God, that you love them, that you will take care of them and that they can trust you. So I just thank you for that. I thank you, God, that you are with your, your people. You are with Israel. And God, I thank you that you are with us. So we love you, and we just pray all these things in God's name. Amen. Have such a great week, you guys. I miss you. I can't wait for us to be back at church. It's going to be very soon, I promise, which is a little bit longer.